King and T Gang, let's get it. How y'all doing out there, man? God bless everybody, man. Hope everybody is all nice and feeling lovely, you know what I mean? As yours truly right now, you know what I mean? We're in here another day. We're here, we're alive, so that's a blessing, you know what I mean? So thanking God for that. So we're gonna, uh, as we proceed, you know what I'm talking about? We're in the kitchen. Cut back in the kitchen tonight, so let's do this. Y'all ready? Doing some, uh, what is it, a uh, beef cube steak? I'm gonna be making a uh, country fried steaks with that. We gonna do that. I got my country gravy mix. Y'all see that? Doing that country gravy mix. And I'm also gonna do these right here. Green Giant, extra sweet. Gonna do these right here, the Idahoan, buttery. Y'all comment down below if y'all like these. They come in like various different, you know, flavors. So y'all comment down below which one y'all like. They got the sour cream and chives, home style, the extra buttery and all that. So let me know if y'all like this brand here. We also trying some asparagus spears tonight. This is gonna be pretty interesting for me guys because this is the first time I'm eating these ever in life. Yeah, I know. So I'm trying to get a little fancy. I was trying to wait till I do a steak and <laughs> potatoes and all that. I was gonna make asparagus and all that shit, but it's all good. We're gonna do it tonight, all right? Cause yeah, it seems like a good thing to do. And then we're gonna top it off with some of these grand biscuits, Southern style. So that's what we're doing tonight, man. So it's going down. So make sure y'all smash that like button, you know what I mean? Make sure y'all tune in, turn the notification on, you know what I mean? Cause we lit, KNT gang, let's get it, all right? Shit! All right, y'all. We back. All right. I got my steaks out, nice and cleansed properly, you know? Always make sure you rinse the meat off before you cook. Believe it or not, I've actually seen some people not do so, so. To each his own, you know, but. I like to make sure I clean the meat, make sure everything is cleansed. So let's get it, y'all. All right. First thing we we'll do is put some pepper in there. Put some pepper in your step. There we go. You know, we're just gonna put a little even coat on there. That's all we want to do. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. See that? Nice little bit of pepper in it. Nice little bit of pepper. All right. Put that there. My seasoned salt. Just put a little sprinkle of that. Alright. Put that to the side. As I use my seasoning, I put it to the side. That way I don't get confused about what I need to still put. A little garlic powder. Oh, I ain't open this one yet. Really? That one caught me off guard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. I thought that one was already. I thought that was open already. It's not open, so I'm out to pierce that. Alright. Got to cut that one. Alright, anyway, there we go. Got it. I had the one that was already open there, maybe not. So, all right, here we go, y'all. Garlic powder, sprinkle this once again. All we're doing is put a little sprinkle on. All right, put to the side. Use that Brazilian steakhouse. It's only right since we're doing the cube steaks. Alright. 
All right, some Italian seasoning we're gonna throw on there. Joints over, and we're gonna repeat that process, all right? All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn these joints over, flip them, season over the same way, exact way. So, and I'm gonna be right back with y'all, all right? All right, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog, Joe. All right. At this time, I got the cube steaks perfectly seasoned to perfection courtesy your boy yeah I do this all right so we get ready to get it in I got my all-purpose flour right here in my bowl what I'm gonna do is sprinkle some of this paprika inside there stand back make sure y'all can get them there we go make sure y'all can see what I'm doing here That's good. That's what it looks like. What that looks like after I do that. See that? Yeah. All right. Put that in there, then I'm gonna put some black pepper in here. Okay, that's good for that. Put just a little bit of seasoning salt in there. All right. And that's all I'm gonna do for my flour. Kind of give it a nice little shake. And at this time, I can go ahead and turn on my turn my stove on. Y'all already know how my stove giving it up, so I gotta make sure I'm turning it on moderate temperatures in here. <laughs> So I like y'all don't already know what time it is in here. Yeah, stuff will get burned up in here. You know what I mean? If I don't keep it, yeah, I gotta keep it settled up in here. You know what I mean? Cause I don't want nothing beeping off and alarm going off and you know. Anyway, but uh, all right. So this time I'll go ahead and place them in there one by one. All right. Got right, those in there. Put my top on there. back on this time instead of the front with my top on there and then I give it a nice shake turn it upside down if you will spin it all around it may get a little messy but you know that's all part of the game about Cut's Kitchen, we don't do a lot of oil over here, so. That's how it's just looking. And I put a little bit more as I need it, you know, as I go along, so. That's what we doing, so. Let that get nice and hot, do its thing. Mm -hmm. 
And these don't take very long to cook, guys. So this is a very like convenient type of dish to make, so to speak, because you only really need to cook these cube steaks, I say about five or six minutes tops on each side, you know. You don't want them burn, you don't want them overcooked, you don't want them rubbery tasting, you know, just right, so. Watch it, boy. Watch how it gets down on these, right? Turn it down a little bit. While I'm waiting for that, I can go ahead and get my other pot out so I'm going to use the bowl of my corn. Leave my time wide. Watch that camera while I'm doing that. Alright, there we go. Good. Okay. Cut it out, then we don't have to worry about that. Alright, y'all, this time it's. I normally wait for me to hit a snack crackling and popping, but it's pretty much getting started right now, so. Away fast and we get ready to get it in. Just a little bit of flour from over here. All right. All right, let's get it. that you can actually fit two in here at a time. There we go. There we go. Put the top back on. And I can get to make sure the rest of that batter hits the bottom and top of these last two steaks. Make sure we utilize every bit of that flour. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we ain't gonna waste. Move that cam in a little bit better for y'all. So you want to just keep your eyes on it. You really want to give it like a good five minutes. You see that? Good five minutes. And then we're gonna flip over and repeat the process. Put my paprika back because we don't need that no more. Now I'm gonna get my water boiling for my corn on the top. Alright y'all. As you can see, this is going to take some minutes, so I ain't going to have y'all sitting here waiting over five minutes, but yeah. 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 That's what we're doing. So we're going to get out a few minutes, let it do its thing, and we're going to come back, flip them over, and let y'all see what we're looking like, alright? Y'all stay tuned, KNT gang, let's get it. Shit! Alright, y'all. It's been a five, six minute span, so at this time we can go ahead and flip them over. See what we're looking like here. Turn that over. There we go. Just the way I wanted it. See that? Do you see that? Yeah. Man, those look great. If I should say so myself. Give me a napkin out. Sit that there for now. All right, we can get us like another three, four minutes, guys. We're gonna take these, this first set off, and we're gonna commence to get it started with the next cup. Oh so yeah, um, I actually went on to put my corn in here.
So y'all ain't missed nothing. I just threw the corn in the water, that's all. So I did that during the recession or the break. A little recess we took for a second. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you have in record mode. What's happening? Sorry, y'all, y'all know I gotta ask. I'm in record mode. Okay, come on. Somebody over here in blue park mode, I see. You're almost tripping bust your head in. It's all good. Teach y'all almost tripping bust your head, y'all. But y'all ain't see that. Just thing y'all ain't see that. On the vlog, dog, oh, yeah. All right, let me see. What else we got? I got my grand biscuits. I got my mashed potatoes. Don't take long at all, so that'll be the last thing I probably do. And yeah, we can go ahead and get this asparagus going. So, give me something else out for that, because that needs to boil for like 10 minutes. Got like 10 minutes for this too. Yeah, add water. Okay. First time for everything, y'all. Y'all comment down below if y'all eat asparagus. And what do y'all put on it normally when y'all make it? For our seasoning. I'm basically gonna follow the instructions as as is for now because I don't really know nothing about no asparagus, but if it's good then I'll add it to my repertoire. You know what I mean? Alright, give me country fried steak, put it nice and crispy. Look at that. I'll turn them down a little bit because y'all want no smoke up in here. Get my butter out. What the hell? Oh, I already got it out. Okay. About to see where the butter at. All right. I'll go ahead and say this first batch is done. Grab me a couple paper towels here. Off. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, looking good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down. See, I got me a couple of napkins down here. And I'm dropping them down. Guys, put them there. Put them there, that way they can get nice and drained. And then go ahead and pour just a little bit more. Just my pan here, just a little bit. There we go. We don't want burnt grease or to be too dark and just enough. You see that? And loosen that up. And then we're ready for the next set. We're going in there. Do it. Sometimes you gotta maneuver with your fingers if you have to, you know, just to make sure you get it right. I got it. Make sure that grease is all around there. As long as it's underneath there, the surface won't burn, so you're good. So they have you. Now 
we're gonna repeat that process as I said before. We're gonna let that go for like another five or six minutes on each side. And they will come out as these I've shown you. All right, so we're gonna let these do their thing for a few more minutes. We're gonna let it burn, not literally, but you know, let it burn, do a thing, and then we're gonna be right back with y'all, all right? Let's get it, shoot. All right, y'all, we back. About time to go ahead and flip these bad boys over, so see what's happening here. Really? I didn't want to touch the bottom, but sometimes you got to add it. Okay. Okay. You see, in this case, I may need to add just a little bit, just a little bit more, just to coat the pan, so. It's all good, just don't want to use much. Just put a little bit there. The corner, cut the corner on there. And that's good. That's all we should need for that. This dish should be completed with no more oil needed. Alright, so see how we're looking. Man. That looks so delightful, man. That's what I'm doing in here. All right, yo, I got the, um, see, I got that going, the asparagus over here doing his thing. So, I haven't done nothing so far, but put a little bit of butter in there. See, they boiling doing his thing, so, we're going to actually use a little bit of garlic salt for this. Instead of seasoning salt, I'm going to use some garlic salt here. All right. And I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of done, uh, garlic powder in there. All right. Okay. That's that. Now, as for the corn, you ask. Only thing I season my corn with, and it's really not a seasoning. It's just one thing I put on it is sugar. So, uh, if I can find my scooper, yep, which I do have. Pardon me, y'all. Got my scooper out. I use this right here. And we actually got about six ears of corn here. They're the small ones, so use like a nice scoop here. I go ahead and dump it on in there in the pan. I try to put in the pot, excuse me, and try to put it on top of it, but it don't matter if you don't, it's still inside there. So, put one whole scoop of that and then feeling generous today so just a little bit extra in there not a whole another one or something you see light with it like the corn to be sweet all right there we go that's that and put that back okay put that back and i can put my all-purpose flour back that my oven beeping y'all know y'all heard that so that means i can go ahead and put my biscuits in the oven so we're gonna do that now Asparagus down. Let's see what time it is now. Gotta keep up with the time. Make sure you're keeping up with the time. Cause we don't want these steaks to burn. Give it like another three minutes. And those will be done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my biscuits and get those right, throw those in the oven, we'll be right back, all right? Y'all don't touch that down, all right? K and T gang, we in here. All right, y'all, we back. The steaks are officially done. Country fried, that is. See that? 
Man, I ain't even put that country gravy on that thing yet. Oh man, just you wait. Yes, sir. Best is yet to come. All right, so I got my stove still on, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there so I can go ahead and get my water running for the mashed potatoes. This is a measuring cover. Two cups of water there, so go ahead and get that down. All right, all I do is let that boil, turn it up for the boil. Once again, see that. This time my vegetable is pretty much done so I can turn those on low. Turn this on low. Pretty much got what we wanted right now. I got my grand biscuits in the oven doing their thing. They really ain't good up here tonight, you know what I mean? That's how we doing it, Cuts Kitchen. That's how it's going down. Get my gravy pan out. One man that likes to calculate, you know. I cook with calculation. I like everything done and on time. In a timely manner. I don't wanna have to warm nothing up. I want everything already hot. Steaming hot. Y'all comment down below if y'all like y'all food the same. I'm talking about hot, hot to the point where you know how when you eat pizza when it's steaming hot and your gums start peeling and you feel your gums peeling like you know, I like my food hot like that. <laughs> It ain't hot, it ain't right. So one and three, four cup of water. Oh, they getting snagged, huh? Normally all the gravy is only one cup of water. This is having to be three, four cleaned up. So I'm glad I'm looking so. All right. All right. Go ahead and blend this here. I'm talking about some nice little whisk on there. I see. Give it a slow stir. Back if you got to that way. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's a real deal. Like the way that's coming out right there. A little bit of black pepper out for that. Put just a little bit of seasoned salt, and that's all we're gonna do for the country gravy. All right, we should be good with that. Matter of fact, I want to put a little bit of onion powder in there. Where is it? There we go. Turn that down. We'll turn it up a little bit so we can get a bowl on. Mashed potatoes, pretty much ready. You know that's nothing. All I do is throw that in there. Bowl and we turn that off in a second. So. Still out. 
smile with the lead of butter out. Need that, definitely need that for the mashed potatoes. Popping all over the place, so turn down. Really, it's gonna be off now after you know. Move it away from there. How about we do that? They actually are done already, so put the finishing touches on it. All I'm doing now, Need my pepper. Okay. Season salt. I don't see how people can eat potatoes and not season them, you know what I mean? But believe it or not, people really do that. I like to taste my food. We didn't forget about our grand biscuits, so we need to check those out, make sure everything's good. This is what I'm putting in there. Butter, that's all the butter I'm putting for my mashed potatoes. Nice stir. thing in there perfect perfect timing everything is looking good right now so the last thing I want to do y'all is I got a nice little drainage of the, the grease off of it so now I'm gonna take them off of there cuz I want to throw those back in the oven just for a few minutes told you I'm a man of perfect timing so I want everything nice and steamy hot when it comes out so we're gonna throw that in the oven in a few minutes and uh, last thing I have to do is eat <laughs> that's the word i was looking for yeah that's the last thing i have to do after that get down with the get down you know what i'm talking about mashed potatoes looking like nice and buttery all right so go ahead and throw my steaks in there in a little bit Get a little extra sizzle on those. And there we is, man. The boy did it again, man. I did it again. You hear me? I'm just getting started. Y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to come back and show y'all the final plating. You know how we doing it. That's how it's going down. k and Family Cuts Kitchen. Let's get it. Let's not get it to the floor. Right, let's get it. <laughs> All right, y'all. That moment has finally arrived, man. This is what it's looking like. After it's all said and done. You see that? Take a look at that there, huh? That's how we doing it, man. That's how it's going down. You, man, huh? Look at that. I told y'all, I told y'all, man. Y'all won the cooking vlogs, man. I'm back in full effect, man. Huh? What we doing next? What we doing next? Comment down below. Comment down below. What we doing next? The how your boy did. How I did tonight, huh? Comment down below. Spam it up in the comment section, huh? I need to hear from y'all. How y'all doing out there? Let's get it. Y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Super duper thumbs up. Share this video. You know, man, like I said, comment. We just getting started, man. We're over a thousand strong, man. We want to say appreciation and thank you to every last one of y'all, you know, that's tuned in. Everybody's been rocking with us, man. We in here, we going down, and it's going up. It's food going down, but we going up, you know what I mean? It's only going up from here, you know what I mean? So y'all stay tuned, man. 
All right, make sure if you haven't done so, hit that notification bell, man, so you know every time we dropping a video. You don't want to miss out, all right? KMT Gang, we out of here. Shit.